Hey guys, it's me, Plain here, and welcome to the first part of Undertale. Now, I'm recording this intro after because it wasn't in the video, and I guess it didn't record that part. But hopefully you guys do enjoy this, and let's just get into it. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the Flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little on me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That is your soul. The very cumulation of your being. So we can move around. Cool. Your soul starts off weak, but you can grow strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Alright. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, alright, move, move the mouse around. Oh, it said... You idiot! In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up the opportunity like this? Oh god, he's gonna kill me. So it was the arrows. I was I thought it said mouse move. Okay. Oh god, he's creeping me up. Staying up. Oh, got twenty health again. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the runes. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come down here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. She's nice, okay. This way. Okay, let's follow her. Where are we going? Here? The shadow of the ruins looms above you, filling you with determination. HP, HP fully restored. Okay, we're gonna save here. No, we're gonna go. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. Is that like some kind of puzzle? The ruins are filled full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversion and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Okay, so this game is supposed to have a lot of puzzles in it. To make progress here, you will need to tr trigger several, several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. What's this? Press Z to read sign. So I'm using enter. And I really wanted to use a controller, but I didn't know how well it worked. How did I press it? Oop. How do I press it? Is it already pressed? Oh, okay, so it is pressed, okay. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Okay, hopefully the puzzles don't get too hard. As a living human in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not, this process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time, and I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okay. 
You encounter a dummy. Okay, so we can go through these. So we can go to Mercy. Uh, let's spare. The dummy looks like it's going to fall over. Okay. So it's... Darn. X is canceled. Okay. Uh, let's go to Act. Dummy. Talk. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Toriel seems happy with you. You won. You earned 0 XP and 0 gold. Ah, oh, very good. You are very good. Thank you, Toriel. There's another- Excuse me. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Hmm, let me see. Oh, we got into a fight. Frog it attacks you. Let's frog it. Let's check. Frog it. Four attack and five defense. Life is difficult for this enemy. Toriel's stepping in. Okay, we didn't win anything, but we did it. Nice. Is that a sign? The western room is the eastern room's blueprints. What? Okay, what am I doing? T Toriel? Oh, okay. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, okay. So it's like a pattern thing where I believe certain ones don't go down as you step on them, but other ones will stay up and kill you, most likely. There we go. Puzzles seem a little dangerous for now. No. I'm a master. I'm the puzzle genius king. I'm the puzzle king. You have done excellently. You have done excellent, excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh, she's sprinting. Come on. Can't be that hard to walk to the end. Maybe I'm going to get attacked. Or I'm going to have to run into a puzzle, aren't I? Let's see. Because the music kicked up. Um, no enemies so far. This is a very long hallway. Oh, I was gonna keep going. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please, remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? Interact with this? No? Okay. Let's go. Ring. Ring! Hello. This is Toriel. You haven't left the room, have you? Oh. Oh. Oop. I did. I did. I forgot that she said not to leave the room. I thought she said, like, don't do any puzzles. There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good. All right. Click. Okay, cool. Let's talk to Froggy. Ribbit. Ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Sure. Okay, we can save here. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. Save. All right, we'll save at the leaf pile here. Can we? Oh, Ooh, we got into a fight with the froggin. Okay, let's act. We know to compliment. I think so. Froggy did not understand what you said, but it was flattered anyways. Blushes deeply. Are we gonna have to dodge attacks? Oh. Can we? Yeah, we can spare him now. 
We got two gold, but zero EXP or XP. Let's not do that again. Maybe they're just hiding in the leaf piles. I knew that was gonna happen. Let's go this one. Okay, yeah. Ring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? I'm. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of the bee scotch. Actually, I don't like bee scotch. Butterscotch. The butt scotch. I do like cinnamon, though. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Click. Ring. Hello. This is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right. I, I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way... Oh, I thought she was going to say something else. Uh, I don't really like butterscotch, but, like, if somebody put it, like, no, you want some cake, like, they made it directly for me, I'll, might try it. What would you say? Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. This is a gray rock. Boom. And we got into another fight with another frog. It. Let's act. We know what to do here. We just have to do that. He was flattered. Okay. Oh. Just dodge it. Just dodge. There we go. Boom. Just like that. We got two golds here. XP. Maybe we have to fight them to get the XP, but I believe there's uh, two different endings. The genocide route, like I haven't played it, but the genocide route is where you kill everything and you get a completely different ending or there's like a medium ending where you can kill some, but not a lot. And then there's one where you don't kill any. So I'm going to go without killing any. Am I doing it? Oh, I fell down. Okay, it's a pathway, so let me go back. So we come down here, we go all the way down. Come here, like two forward, all the way up. Okay, I think I figured that out. Oh, and another fight. A Wimsum appro approached meekly. Let's, let's check. Wimsum, eight attack, zero defense. This monster is too sensitive to fight. Forgive me. Oh. Is he not going to attack me? Oh, no, he's not. Wimsum continues to mutter apologies. Let's console. Halfway through your first words, Wimsum bursts into tears and runs away. I was trying to help him. No, don't be sad, Wimsum. Okay, what's his sign say? Please do not step on the leaves. <sighs> Let's get off him. Did not mean to do... I'm stepping on him again. All right, let's make our way back upstairs. So it's all the way over, I believe. All the way down once we get there. Can we just spare minutes? Yeah, we can. Okay. Zero gold, zero XP. Oh. Uh. No! You gotta go all the way around? Okay. I know what I'm doing now, then. No attacking. Didn't mean to step on your leaves, I'm sorry. You go, can we just, no we can't, okay. So let's go to act, compliment. But he was flattered, oh, blushes deeply, rip it. Oh, oh you thought you were gonna get me there, didn't you? Oh, I escaped, I meant to, I meant, that's not what I meant to do. Like that. There we go. We have successfully done it. Let's push all these rocks. Oh, we got another tech. Ooh, both of them came. So we can spare him instantly. Then we have to come over here and compliment the frog. Head. Like that. Blushes deeply. Oop. Just stay in the bottom corner. Spare. Two gold, nice. Okay, we got that one. Push that one. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm, so you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, pumpkin. All right, hmm? 
You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? No, 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 no. Go, go that way. Hmm. That was the wrong direction? Okay. I think I got it. There you go. Dude, come on. Hmm. You, want, you wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Thank you. Don't move. All right, you can move back now. Okay, who we got? A mold small blocked the way. Okay, let's check them. Mold small. Six attack, zero defense, stereotypical, curvaceously attractive, but no brains. Slime sounds. I'm trying to make, like, some weird mush sound. Can we mercy? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I didn't know if I could mercy him instantly. Okay. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole to get the cheese. It fills you with determination. All right, let's go ahead and save here. Let's come down here. It says, this cheese has been here for quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. Oh, come on. Is that, that's the mouse cell? Oh, it makes a little noise. That's cool. When you go over to it, it makes a squeak noise. Is that a ghost? Hello. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? No, no, no. Do I have to move it with force? I don't want to move them. I guess we might have to. Oh, now we're fighting them. This music. Mm. Yeah. Hey. Here comes next block. Okay, let's act. Get flirt. Let's check them. Naps to block. Eight attack. I'm um, ten attack, ten defense. This monster does not seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Oh, he's crying. Oh, oh got hit. It's staring into the distance. So let's cheer or flirt. Let's cheer. You gave Naps a block a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Is that gonna hurt me? No. Looks just a little bit better. So let's, let's flirt. I just weigh you down. Oh. There you go. Alright. He didn't get us that time, so I think we need to keep cheering him up. He told Naps to block a little joke. <laughs> oh. Is he gonna go for me? Oh, these still bounce. Oh. Okay, let's cheer him up again. Naps to block wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it the dapper block. That's funny. Huh. Do you like it? Yes. Looks Can we mercy him? No. I'm just plugging along. Oh, these are gonna bounce back up. Cheering seems to have proved. Okay. Let's cheer him again. Oh, gee. I usually come to the rooms because there's nobody around, but today I met somebody nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Thank you. This is... Okay, those are pathways. Let's go down this one. Okay, what's this? Spider bake sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Okay, leave 7G in the web. We have 6G and leave 18G in the web. I only have six gold. I don't. I can't pay for it. I would if I could. It says, Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down and to the right. Come eat food made by spiders for spiders of spot. Nope. Let's talk to you. Ribbit, ribbit, sigh. My friends never listen to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right, pressing X. Doesn't work. Oh, not you too. <laughs> Can 
Okay. Cool. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using. Oh, yeah, I already did that. Four frogs. I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to say at the least. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely by now you know. Yeah. What do you think of that? It's very helpful. It's very helpful. Remember, sparing is either. Maybe one day you'll have to do that. Even if their name's not yellow. What? Hold on. I'm gonna say it's bad. Then I'll tell you all my friends to chain all the friends blah, 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 never use an yellow name. How about that? No more yellow names. Oh, does that mean the names are gonna be like white now and I'm not gonna be able to Hello? I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of other lying things lying around here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like, and you will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Okay. So what about this yellow name thing? That's the thing I'm confused about. What if I go back over there? Can I get the yellow names back? Because if it's going to be white names, I can't do that. How are you doing out without yellow names? Bring, bring them back. It's great, though I don't know why you dislike yellow. I encounter a banana themed monster. Ha ha. Okay, I want to try bring bring them back. Huh? You'd rather? It's rather inconvenient that you changed your mind like this. Since I told everyone not to use their yellow names, they threw them out. Well, last year was a fashionable to have pink. Yes, 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 yes. Pink names are the best. Yes. Yes. Okay. I Pink is my favorite color, so I'm glad I got to do that. Let's fall down here. What's that? Carrot? Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, no, I'm not fighting. We'll go here, and we'll... We'll... Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. No. Oh, the green one. What does the green one do? Cackle softly. Oh, no, no, he has a pink name. Yeah, they are pink. Cool. Okay, spare. We got four gold from that, but we do need some food now. And we do have enough to go back to the spider bake sale, I believe. Luke's drew near. Oh, I don't want to fight him. Uh, let's- don't pick on him. Finally, someone gets me! I'm doing all these, like, weird accents. Luke's is gazing right at you. Oh, pink name. I'm gonna spare him. Get that five gold. Okay, let's just skip all of this. Or, uh, which one do we need to go down? This one? Which one's the one with the lever? Okay, it's the one next to it. There we go. Now we should be able to hit the lever, and then go back upstairs, and they should be down. Okay, who we fight now? Luke's? Can we draw a uh, spare miscellany? No. Okay, let's see if we pick on them. You rude little snipe! Oh, they're going for me. Oh god, uh, don't pick on, don't pick on. Uh... That was so close, okay. Okay, we need to go get some health. Maybe the spider bake sale will have food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go back to the spider bake sale really quickly. Just to make sure we can get some food, because I'm not trying to die here. Spider bake sale's down here. Okay. Leave 7G in the web? Uh, yeah. Spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Okay. This one. Items. Spider donut. Info. Spider donut. Heals 12 HP. Alright. Let's go ahead and eat that. 
You ate the spider down, I recovered 12 HP. Now we're back at 15. So we got some health back, which is great. I'm always supporting those local spider businesses. You know what I mean? All right, who are we find now? Luke's again. So we know exactly what to do. Don't pick on. Finally, someone gets me. There we go. Boom, just like that. So what do we need to do? The far door is not an exit, just as simply marks the rotation and perspective. Okay. If you can read this, press the blue switch. The blue switch would be behind that one, in the back, the back though. No! Luke's and Co. decided to pick on you. So I'm getting ganged up now. Let's act. Let's check this one, because we don't know what he is yet. It seems evil, but just, it's with the wrong crowd. Are they all gonna attack me at once? Yes. Okay. Okay, let's act. Let's get the ones we know how to do first. Oh, oh. Oh, I almost got hit there. Okay. So let's go and spare him very quickly. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Alright. Oh, uh, let's talk to him. I don't care. Come on, dude. I lost some health there. Okay. Okay, let's get Vegetoid, which is... Let's just devour him. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Okay, we're not weakening him. We don't have this. Oh, God. We'll just sit in the corner. Dinner. That's what it was. Pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens, so... There was a green one last time we met him. Let's get that. Okay, it didn't help. Oh, this is where I die. Okay. So let's eat the green one, I guess, if we can get to it. Oh, okay, that did heal us just a little bit. Vegetoid cackle softly. We could spare Vegetoid now. La la, just be yourself. Okay, you're gonna... Okay, yeah. Do your boogie. And we could spare him like that. So we got 11 gold from that. We could go back down, back to the spider bake cell, but uh, we're gonna keep going, just in case we can get something else. So the blue one is here. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. You hear a clicking sound. It's down here. Okay. Now which one do we need to press? If you can read this, press the red switch. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Alright. So we should be able to spare him instantly. Swing your arms, baby. Yeah, do it. Doesn't have a care in the world. Okay, cool. We got two gold from that. So let's go ahead and press the switch. There we go. It's probably going to be the yellow one, which is right here, I believe. Uh, I did it. Okay. I was guessing the yellow since we already did the other two. A pair of Vegetoids came out of the ground. Ooh. Can we act on the first one and talk about dinner? Offers a healthy meal. Oh, got it. Alright, so it's like the only way you could spare that one. And then the next one after this, we'll be able to... Uh, let's talk to dinner. Okay. Get the potato. Or hopefully that's a potato. Boom. Eight gold. So we're not doing too bad. It's down here. It's a frog it. Ribbit, ribbit, just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. 
were all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. So she came out. Ooh. What's this? You found the toy knife. So we got a toy knife. That was a pretty nice view. We'll go up here. So she. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. Oh, she's gonna see us. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er. Uh, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Okay. Let's save here really quickly. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. We'll save here, and believe that gives us full health? Yes, okay. And we have 39G, that's good. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I wanted you to have a nice time living here. So hold off on snail pie for tonight. Oh, thank God. Here, I have another surprise for you. Let's go this way. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Oh. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Don't burn the pie, Toriel. Let's check our room. So it's over here. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Let's go over here. A box of kid shoes in there. Disparity of size. Oh, do I just turn off? Oh, yeah, let's turn off. Oh, I like that song. Let's check in here. No, we can't. Looking at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Aww. Can we sleep? Yes, we can. Oh. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. That's nice. We come back out here, it's like a nice thing. Let's go all the way down the hall. What do we have? Oh! It's you! A room under renovation. Inside the drawer are some flower seeds and some broken crowns. Get me on here. Oh, this is like Toriel's room. Just a regular old bucket of snails. It's Toriel's diary. diary. Read the circled passage. You read the circled passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. The rest of the pages are filled with jokes of similar caliber. She goes, she's got a joke book. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's stock drawer. Ooh. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowers, flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. No more commonly as water sausages. I want some water sausages. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most to cert of plants. I don't know that one word. Sorry. Okay, we'll go downstairs, I guess? No. We'll save that last. Can we talk to Toriel? Up already, I see? Um, I wanted you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come to a surprise as you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Nothing, when can I go home? Let's say nothing. Well. Talk to me if you again if you need anything. She's nice. 
there's some white fur stuck in the drain. Ew. That's some milk. The size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. No, no, it doesn't. You gotta be big man. Big, big girl. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. For some reason. What's wrong with having a brand name chocolate bars? Okay. I don't want to talk about going home. This is my home. But we're going to go downstairs. Okay, the whole atmosphere just changed. I think you should play upstairs instead. Wait, why? Going back down. It's dangerous to play here. Why can't I go down there? Now I gotta go see what it is. It's drafty here. You'll catch a cold. There's something down here that she's hiding. We're doing it. And the dialogue's changing every time. It's dusty here. You'll catch a cough. Yes, yeah, she's hiding something down here. We're gonna keep doing it. There's nothing to see here. We'll do it one more time. And if we can't, then we'll ask her about going home. Do you want to read a book? Come on, Toriel. What's down here? Don't lie to us. I do not like the game you're playing. Should we just talk to her about it then? I just keep holding right. Why not go for a walk in the yard? One more time. Really now? Something's being hid. We're gonna go talk to Toriel about that. About going home, I guess, maybe? Not where I meant to walk. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? How to accent the rooms. Um, how about an exciting snail fact? Did you know snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? I didn't know that. How to exit the runes. I have something to, I have to do something. Stay here. Where's she going? Follow, 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 follow. I bet she went downstairs. 100%. If not, then she's going to run down here and stop us. Oh, she is. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now, be a good child and go upstairs. Oh my god. Oh my god, Toriel, come on, can we talk about this? Every human that falls down here meets the same fight. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Toriel. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. We gotta keep going. We can't, we can't stop here. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. We have to fight Toriel now? Toriel blocks away. Oh my god. This is gonna be the Umbo Lumbo. Lumbo's dead. I promise you. Let's act. Toriel. Let's talk. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Stay in the middle. Toriel looks through you. Spare. She didn't say anything. I thought if I didn't move, I wouldn't die. Toriel prepares a magic attack. Okay. Two lines. I don't know what to do. I'm dead. You cannot just give up yet. 
Lumbo, stay determined. Okay, we gotta try that again. No, I gotta redo all of that. Oh my god. Okay, I'll get back to you. Okay, guys, we are back at the battle scene. So, I believe we just have to spare her. And then we gotta... Oh, Jesus, my... Maduki, I'm already dead. Oh, oh, ooh! Spare. Three lines. Don't move. Oh, she's not killing us. Oh, God, she is. No, 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 no. Don't kill us. Okay, none of them are hitting us. Oh, they're dodging us. Attack or run away. We can't attack Toriel. They're not, she's not trying to hit us anymore. What are you proving this way? She said not to attack anybody. She said not to kill anybody at the beginning. So that's not what we're doing. Fight me or leave. If, do we have to kill her? Or like fight her? Toriel prepares a magic attack. Come on. Stop it. Toriel is acting aloof. We gotta keep... Stop looking at me that way. Her face is getting super sad as well. I know you want to go home, but... Oh, it's over. Spare. Please, go upstairs now. I promise, I will take good care of you here. No, we gotta go home. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small. Once you get used to them, it, it wouldn't be right if for, for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh no. <laughs> Goodbye, my child. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we go back for her? I don't think she wants us to come back. We're gonna. We're just gonna go on. I can't believe we have to leave Toriel. Toriel, why? Do, she could have came with us. We could have had a buddy and stuff. So long hallway. All right. This is the end. This is the end, and then we get out and we go to the rest of the underground. No. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. Heh. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what you will do if you meet a relentless killer. You'll die. You'll die and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? 
and let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. I, my plan isn't run, run aside. Jesus Christ, I'm illiterate. This is so much more interesting. Dude, his laugh creeps his laugh creeps me out. Oh, he's gone. Oh, we're going to the end. So this is like where we land at the beginning. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Okay. Oh, here it goes. Feeling about this. What was that? We'll keep going. I'm not feeling safe about this. Keep going. What was that? We gotta keep going, don't we? Oh. Who's that? He's gonna, he's gonna like kill us, isn't he? He's gonna stab us in the back. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Alright, shake his hand. Really a fart very professional <laughs> This music I like it Heh <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick It's always funny Anyways, you're a human right? That's hilarious I'm Sans Sans the skeleton I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go, just go right through. My bro made this bars way too high, wide to stop anybody. Oh. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Okay, go. Oh, that is perfect. What's up, bro? This music. Hey. Hey. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't. I closed out the game on my screen. Okay. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp, it's really cool. Do you wanna look? No, I don't want, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be one. I will be, I must be the one. I will capture a human, then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, and I will finally be able to join the Royal Guards. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in the shower of kisses every morning. <sighs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. Get your lazier, you get lazier and lazier every day. Dude, hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Oh, I didn't even add that in. That was like part of the game. Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Why does someone as great as me 
have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. And as for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. Do we have to go over to him? Yeah. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. That sounds like a good idea. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. These two balls back here. Ooh, look at these two balls. Oh, it's just two snowballs. Oh, those are the bushes. I forgot. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there's always bottles of but there's bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting in sh sitting inside. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't. He, he he's not dangerous. Don't worry. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Nice. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with their determination. Okay, before we continue on, I just want to say, I believe there's a soundtrack in here. I think it's Undertale that, uh, I forget how it goes. Like, dun, dun. I, I'll add it in because it used to be my old, old, old outro and I never used it anymore. Like, the song is like a remix and I actually might start using it just because I actually liked it a lot. And if it is from Undertale, it sounds pretty nice. Oh, we ran into a fight. Snowdrake flutters forth. Uh, let's act. Let's check him. Snowdrake. 8, 12 attack, 7 defense. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. M macaroni and freeze. Oh, I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. No, I'm not. All right, cool. Snowdrake realized its own name is a pun and freaking out. Oh, can we spare him then? No. Let's laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool jokes. We might be able to... Yeah, we get spare there. Cool. Okay, let's this. Use the box? Yes. Okay, so we have things that we can get in. Uh, let's get the tough gloves out, and let's put the butterscotch pie in, just so we don't eat it in battle or something, because it's special. It's from Toriel. This is a box. You can put items inside or take items out of the box. The same box will appear later on, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Well, thank you, box lover. Let's go up here. Is this a fishing pole? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel in? Yes. All that is attached to it is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call- No! Call it! Jesus. Wanted to call some monsters. So, as I was saying about Undyne... They're looking at each other. Oh, all right, now they're speeding up a little. Oh, oh, oh. Sans. Oh my god. Is that a human? No, no. I'm, what am I? I'm a fish. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god. Is... Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans! I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Popular, popular! <sighs> human! You shall not pass this area, okay? I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, the, the, just just wait. Here it goes. Then, I'm not sure what happens next. 
In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Uh, another pun. He's the, this game has a lot of puns, doesn't it? Oh, we're gonna fall. Please be Toriel. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, help. I'd like to order, um, a pizza with, um, the toppings are, uh, I have them copied. I'll just paste them to you. Your phone is told to receive text. It reads out loud, character by character. An acyl art of an anime cat girl? Click. Did I just get prank called by, like, somebody, like, trying to prank call a pizza place? Okay. There's some narration on the cardboard box. Observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet very famous royal guardsman. Just, just give it a minute. Oh, I'm gonna battle. Ice cap struts into view. Let's... Can we take his hat? Take hat. Try to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. Help! Fashion police! Oh. Oh. Alright, this is easy. You just gotta, like, kinda dodge it. Uh, okay. Okay, we're not gonna hurt, hurt him, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take his hat. You know what I mean? Like, we just want the hat. Okay, I think that might be good enough. I don't want to kill anybody. I just want the hat. Oh, God. Act. Steal hat. You try to steal his hat. And succeed it. It melts in your hand. I did all that work. What's the point? Ice cap is no more. Spare him. 22 gold from that. Okay, that was kind of worth it. We didn't kill him. He's still alive. We just spared him, guys. Don't worry. Did something move? Was it my imagination? It's got like a dog bone in his mouth. I'm seeing him like some country dude. I can only see things when they're moving. If something was moving, for, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Let's pet him. Doggo's too, oh, Doggo's too suspicious of your movement. I don't know, so. Don't move an inch. Okay, so we don't move. Ugh. Oh. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Let's pet him. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Pot, pet, poot, pat, pet. Doggo's been pet. Oh, we can spare him. Cool. Spare. You spared. We got 30 gold from that. We're getting gold now. All right, I see where the gold's coming. So, 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 something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. What's that? Can we press that? Oh, it's a bell. Okay. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Let's do it again. Are you playing a trick on me? Real funny. Can we do it one more time? Big guy, is that you? Come on. Come on now. Let's do it one more time. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Oh, yeah, that's true. Some, someone's been smoking dog treats. Oh, so it was like a cigarette kind of thing that he had in his mouth. I, I see where it's coming from. So, Sans. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an aid way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Well, stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. I got that down in the bag. Okay. To read up. Oh. I want to read the sign. Okay, maybe we need to go up. North, ice, east snow to town. Okay, and ice. Okay. 
So we'll go north after we fight. Lesser dog appears. Let's get us a good battle with him. Let's just pet him. You barely lifted your hand and lesser dog gets excited. <laughs> Don't attack. He said jump. He hit me. Okay, we could spare him. Okay, we got him. Zero gold. Good. I don't... We're doing... We're doing fine. Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. We'll do that. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. All right. All right. Now we should be good to go up here. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. No, you're not supposed to. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses, excuses. Oh. Oh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb administers a hearty zap. Sounds like fun, because the amount of fun you'll probably be having is rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Wait, doesn't he have the old... Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold... I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Is he really gonna walk... Dang! Wow! He just showed us which way to go. All right, so you just gotta go up, up, down, and around. Incredible! You slippery snail! You solved it so easily, too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It's designed by my brother, Sands. You'll surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Let's talk to Sans really quickly. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yeah. Dope. Who's this dude? I don't understand why pe why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Would you like to buy some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. All right, we'll get one. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Okay, so it's pretty cold. I don't know why we'd eat nice cream, but you know, we're not going to complain about it. We're going to need it. Oh, is it like a soccer ball? Can we kick it down? Does this have any worth of doing? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see it. Oh, it's getting too small now. No. Never mind. I'm not going to be able to do it now. I'm gonna read this summary. Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell, puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell, humans. Green rating. It's not green, that's red, isn't it? Destroy at all costs. Okay. We'll come back here after we talk to Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats too. I. Want some fried snow? Just, it's just 5G, yeah. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. No. You're right. That's still too low. Alright. 
Sonus, you create. Oh, it resets. Okay. We're going to hit this in. Oh no, it's shrinking. No. Now it's gone. I gotta come all the way back up here for it. Okay. So don't touch it till we can get the point like that. Here, you hit it down. You hit it down that way. Hit it down. Hit it down. Hit it down. Hit it down again. And over here. doing it uh, no 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 don't don't nope yeah we did it does that give us anything no it looks like a snowball actually it is a snow decadahedron I know that yeah it's a it's a decadahedron don't no it's not a dodecadahedron that's 12 sides it's just a decadahedron human I hope you're ready for. Sans, wh where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Now, what is it? Monster Kids Word Search. Oh, can we actually do this? With the mouse? Maybe like. How am I supposed to do this? I still want to play this. Can I not do this? See, I see some of the words. Oh, and I clicked out of the game again. Where's my mouse? Right side. See, like I see monster, but I guess I guess you can't do it. Right, we'll just continue. Sans, that did not do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's cross crosswords puzzle instead. What crossword? I can't believe you just said that. In my opinion, the Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That's easy peasy word scramble. That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumble, the Junior Jumble. Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find the Junior Jumble difficult. <laughs> Thanks for saying the Junior Jumble is just. To appease my brother. I was like, where's the rest? Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Oh, man. We're gonna need to save. Knowing the my mouse might one day find the way to the heat to get. Oh. Knowing one day the mouse, knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. We're gonna save here in Snowden. Let's check out this. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. It will be so busy eating, you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Oh, uh, Papyrus. You sneaky boy. It's a plate of preserves. It's so cold, it's stuck to the- Oh, I was gonna heat it up. Can we do anything with the microwave? It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. How are we supposed to heat it up? Oh, if it's unplugged. Warning, dog marriage. What? What's this? Should we continue on here? Ice cap. And Jerry came too. All right, act. Let's go to Jerry and let's ditch. You and the others ditch, and you and the other monsters ditch Jerry when it looks away. Ooh, that is so heartless. Why you gotta be so heartless? The other monsters celebrate Jerry's dis. You guys are so mean. I'm gonna compliment your hat, but that's only so I can mercy you. Oh, no, I can't. Can we actually do that? 
Yeah, we can. We can flee battles, which I could have been doing for a long time now. But I prefer to actually act in the battle or do the battles. Oh, what's this? Snowworthy. I don't know what this is. Is this the map system? Okay. So we go up there to the two up here. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. So I believe that's all I had to do to get rid of the spikes. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and Jerry came too, so we'll just come down here and ditch Jerry. Okay, ice cap, ignore. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello? My hat's up here! Oh, Jesus, I wasn't paying attention to the attack. Ice Cap secretly is checking if you're looking at his hat. No, I'm not. I'm ignoring you. I'm gonna keep ignoring him. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Oh. Okay, I'll ignore you too. Duh, who doesn't know? Oh, Jerry came back. Oh, come on! The return of Jerry. We're gonna spare him. Well, can you give me a ride home? Jerry, no, you can't. No, we're not even going to spare Jerry. What we're going to do is come over here and we're ditching him. Bye, Jerry. 13 gold. Okay, that is how you do it. What? Oh, two dogs are coming. Like Grim Reaper dogs. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If your smell... Identif identify your smell. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! Doggy assaults you. Alright, we're not gonna attack them. Oh, they're giving each other little kisses. Uh, let's roll around, I guess. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. The blue ones you don't move through, I forget. Oh. All right. The dogs may want to re-smell you, okay. Re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again after rolling in the dirt. You smell it right. Oh. Oh. We did it. Think so you might be a lost puppy. I am a lost puppy. No, I don't. Humans don't have tails. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wait, that's why we have an ice cream. I think they might be a lost puppy. Uh, let's get to this one. Dogs already know you smell fine. If already smell fine, then why are you attacking me? Okay. Don't move. Move. Okay. Might be a lost puppy. What do I do? Pet them? You pet dog Rissa. What about me? A dog that pets other dogs? Amazing! Okay. I believe I might be able to do that. Well, do you slide back under? It makes a heart. That's cool. Okay, which one do I need to pet? This one? I think I've petted both of them now. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you do it. Mines have been expanded. Spare. We won 40 gold from that. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. Oh, you're, you're welcome. The next save point we get, uh, we'll end it. So we come over here. Like that. What's this say? Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Okay. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, 
Is there any left for me? Oh no, we didn't eat it. Uh, what do you tell a uh, papyrus about? I'm gonna say I ate it. Really? Wowie! No one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you the pasta, all the pasta you could ever want. Hehehehehe. <laughs> yeah. I forgot where it's from. A family guy where it goes, yeah. I like that. There we go. Hello, Papyrus. My brother started the socks collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> Why are you following me? Human! Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to round. I suppose what I am saying is, worry not, human. I, the great Papyrus will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle for yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay, let's turn every exit to a... Then press the switch. Okay, yeah, the same one. Don't follow me, Papyrus. No, we need to go this way. What? I believe I might need to touch the button to turn it back. Thank you. Alright. So if we go this way. Like this. Like this. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Know how to solve the puzzle. Wow! You solved it? And you did it all without my help? Incredible! Oh, I skipped that. Oops. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might just be too easy for you. Nyeh heh heh Oh, bye, Papyrus. We just walk across, yeah. Oh, there's sounds. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. You're welcome. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tires, tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. The blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to you, a yellow tile in the water I can't remember all this. I just gotta remember the orange one. Okay. Okay, okay. I can't go through all this. Understand the explanation? I'll just say of course. Great. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. All right. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> Get ready. Oh, this is going to be hard. It's going to be like where it's going to... I'm going to have to walk in like a big circles and stuff. And it's going to change again, most likely. Okay, it's going to a little too... <laughs> He's just in the spin out of the frame. 
So what were the red ones again? Red are impassable, yeah, so we just walk instantly across. The machine isn't working. Wow. That was a very difficult puzzle, I'll have to say that. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps up, next year he'll even make something edible. That's nice. Oh, is that a dog or a cat? Or a person? I don't know. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. I'll turn it into art for you, bro. I got you. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, is this a uh, dog thing again? Let me check. The floor on the inside is a box of palm raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet. I'll have to go talk to that thing. Knowing that the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. So we'll save here and we'll talk to you really quickly. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. Probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. That's not very nice. Okay, guys, so that's gonna... Okay, guys, so that's gonna be the end of part one of Undertale. Now, this was a lot of fun. It's actually been an hour and 30 minutes. I didn't know I was recording for that long. I didn't only want to make it like an, maybe an hour, 10 minutes. But it went a little longer than I thought, which is good when a game does that. But anyways, if you guys are new around here and you want to subscribe, press the button on the right side in the outro and press the button in the middle. The YouTube thinks that you will like this video from my channel. But anyways, hope you guys do enjoy and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.